Hey everyone, it's Germ. This is part two of a two-parter battlefield rush. Uh, if you missed the first part, here is the link. And if you've already seen the first part, you know where we're at. I just finished answering some questions, uh, and I ended with the promise that soon I'm going to do a video of my setup, my gaming setup that I use. So, uh, we are in this rush. We've made it through, I believe, the first two... first three. Yeah, yeah, the first three um, areas, and we are moving on to the last two, or the first three sets of uh, MCOMs, and we are now moving forward. Now, our team is doing pretty good right now, but there's a natural choke point on this area of the map. Up till now, the team has not been playing like a team. Uh, we have been doing better than the other team, but I think that's just because they're not doing a very good job either. We have not been playing that well. And uh, you know sometimes where like it feels like the whole team's together, you're just surging forward in a wave, you got the tanks going, you got medics everywhere healing people, and uh, a lot of Wookiees on your back line just ripping people up. Yeah, that wasn't this game. Uh, this game, we had a whole lot of Wookiees uh, sitting in the back sniping, not really being actual recons, just sniping. And then we also had quite a few people just going for kills. Okay, in case you didn't know this, Battlefield is not, has never been, and hopefully never will be about your kill-death ratio. My kill-death ratio in this game is, in this particular match, is not that great, but guess what? Uh, on quite a few of the points, if it hadn't been for me moving forward and trying to get people to do something, we wouldn't have captured it. When I first joined the game, uh, we had just taken A, but no one was making any moves towards B, uh, and I was actually able to mess around for a couple minutes or a minute or two playing with the helicopter and doing other stuff where I realized people weren't actually doing anything. Uh, now, if you're wondering why I was messing around with the helicopter, I was just trying to get warmed up. This was my first match of the evening. But when I saw that we had the potential to beat the other team, but uh, my team wasn't really doing a whole lot. I decided I needed to try to get them to move forward a little bit. Uh, now you're going to see, see these guys sitting right here. Those are not, he's not a recon. He's not a recon. Why are they sitting back there? Their job is not to sit on the hill and uh, play army. Their job is to run in and cap stuff and plant. So uh, there's nothing I can really do except encourage people and revive poor souls like that guy. And there's a guy sitting in the bush who killed me. Good job for him. But uh, most of our team is not really doing a whole lot. My squad in particular is doing a bad job. I don't know any of the guys in the squad. It was just the squad I got assigned. But uh, I'm not real blown away with them so far. So uh, I'm just going to let that go for now and talk about some other stuff. And as you'll be able to see, uh, the team is not doing wonderfully. Actually, right now... If you're wondering why I keep putting C4 on helicopters, I briefly explained it at the start of the other video. It's just something fun I like to do. I started doing it in Battlefield 2. Um, and it actually can be useful. It's a great distraction. If you fly a chopper, especially a Black Hawk, loaded with C4 into the other base, and you detonate it, it is going to look pretty cool. Uh, not only is it going to look pretty cool, but it's going to be a little bit distracting. It's a great excuse to run in. If you can land on the building that has the uh, MCOM, you might be able to take the building out and take down the MCOM. Now, these buildings here are not totally just, you can't bring them all the way to the ground. Um, so I'm not going to be able to do that, but I was hoping to just blow the buildings up some, create a distraction. Maybe some of my team would move in. They didn't really, unfortunately, but it's just something fun I like to do. You're probably going to see me do it a lot more if you keep watching my videos. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is my upload schedule. Now, I don't know how many of you keep a close eye on this. I'm going to bet not many of you really do. Uh, but you may have noticed by now that I upload about five videos a week. I try to do one every um, work day. You know, the, the five normal work days of the week, I try to upload a video once each day, sometime between like 4 and 10 p.m. Um, I like that schedule. Now, that's a lot of videos a week. I notice that's a lot more than some commentators put up. Um, but I just have a lot of stuff I like to share with you guys. So I'm going to do my best to keep them coming at five per week. If that's an issue, I'll let you know. If I start to get a backlog built up, I might start putting out more than five a week. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. If you'd rather see them not quite as often, I mean, maybe like you have a lot of subscriptions. I'm sure most of you do, just like me. And if uh, you're not watching some of my videos because you just have so many other videos to watch and I keep putting them out so often, 
Uh, I totally understand. Let me know. If I'm putting them out too often, I can easily slow that schedule down. Um, that only makes it easier on me. So, uh, next thing I wanted to talk about. I might start putting up more than five videos a week when I do some Let's Plays. Now, I'm not going to do that many. Uh, I know that's a, like a love them or hate them type thing. And I'm not going to do a Let's Play of Minecraft. I know a lot of people do that. I love Minecraft. Let me just say that. Um, I play a lot of Minecraft. Uh, but I'm not going to put up a Let's Play because what I'm working on in Minecraft at the moment, uh, my friend I play with, Seed and Evil, you saw him in one of my previous videos, he and I have a pretty epic Minecraft project going on. I, I don't want to say pretty epic. I mean, a lot of other people on YouTube have made much more magnificent grand things. But we have a project we're kind of working on together. Um, and when it's done, I'm going to take some videos of it and upload it. But I don't want to do like a, you know, me working on it every week because most of the time when we're working on it, we spend just as much time goofing off and, you know, joking around as we do actually working. So I don't think anyone wants to watch me. I know some people put out great uh, Minecraft Let's Plays. I know uh, John McG5, I always enjoy watching his. Pyro Puncher, I always enjoy watching his. So uh, I'm going to put both their links to their channels in the description if you wouldn't mind going and checking them out if you don't know them already. But I myself am not going to put up any Minecraft Let's Plays until I have something ready to show you. And then it won't really be a Let's Play, it'll just be a Let Me Show. Uh, but I'm thinking of doing some Let's Plays of some other games. Nothing too long. I mean, since I have to upload in 15 minute segments, I'm not going to be putting out like, Hey, Deus Ex came out. Let me put out 45 straight videos or 100 videos. I'm not going to do that. Uh, some games I'm thinking of doing Let's Plays on are some like smaller indie games. Games you might not have heard of, but it might convince you to go try them out. Uh, they'll all be PC, um, and they'll be games that can probably run on pretty much anyone's computer, so you have that to look forward to. Uh, and actually, some of the games I want to play and do a Let's Play of are in the Indie Humble Bundle. Now, if you're not familiar with the Humble Bundle, uh, I'm going to put the link to the Humble Bundle website in the description of this video. The Humble Bundle is something that they're on their third go-round. There's been two previous Humble Bundle releases um, and what it is is a group of developers get together and they take a group of their games which are they're indie games. They're not super popular uh, but they're all available on Steam and stuff for the most part and they offer them for sale for whatever you want to pay. Like you can literally pay one cent and get all these games and it's like five, six, seven games each time. And most of these games are games that run anywhere from five to twenty bucks uh, outside of the bundle, so they're not like sixty dollar games that you're getting a bunch of at the same time, but a lot of them are pretty fun. You can get quite a few hours of enjoyment out of them. Uh, and I've bought all three indie bundles, or humble bundles. Um, the reason I have is because the proceeds, or a lot of the proceeds, go to support the organization Child's Play. It's a uh, a nonprofit helping children. I mean, I'll put the link to it in the description as well. You can go read all about it. You don't need to hear me talk about it. You can just read what they have to say. It's a good organization. It's an organization that certainly deserves some support. So what you can do, you can support the organization and get some great games. Uh, say you donate five bucks. You can get all the games. You can choose how much money goes towards child's play and how much of it goes towards the developers. Because this is another way for developers who uh, especially indie game developers might not have that much money. This is a good way for them to make a little extra money. Some of these games are in beta. It's a way for them to finish the games and release them. Um, so we're helping them out. We're helping out Child's Play. And you get some great games for a stupid cheap price. I mean, you cannot say, like, one cent is not too expensive. I mean, if you pirate a game that's available for, that when you can get five games for one cent, there's something wrong with you, seriously. Um, so I have participated in the last three Humble Bundles, very gladly. The third one's going on right now. Um, and I am going to do some Let's Plays of a few of the games in the bundles. It might not be the entire game, but I'm going to try to do, um, you know, at, at least some of the game. Uh, maybe like an hour, maybe only 15 minutes if it's a shorter game. You know, if you only need to see a level or two to see what type of game it is. I might do that, um, but just to kind of spread the word, I don't know how much longer the Humble Bundle is going on. It's going on for a couple more days. Uh, again, the link to that is in the description. Please go check it out. Please consider donating some money uh, because the kids would really appreciate it. All right, guys, that is the end of this match. Um, as I said a little bit earlier, 
My KDR was not very impressive at all. I actually think it was... I think I got more deaths than kills, actually, and we're going to find that out in just a second here. Um, but that's because I'm playing Battlefield as it's supposed to be played, you know, 2633, yeah. I died a lot more uh, than I killed, but the whole purpose was helping the team out and accomplishing the team objective, which is really what Battlefield's all about. So guys, if you like this video, if you liked the video before it, uh, please give me a like. Please send in your questions for the next question session I do. And have a great day.